We all remember what Chuck Huber said about Chris Sabat's, you know, casting couch per se in his affidavit. Well, here's a video of Sony Straight, aka the voice of Krillin, joking about it and kind of like acknowledging it in 2015. Hi, how did you both get into voice acting in the beginning? Well, I slept with Chris Sabat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about Matt. Yeah, you too? <laughs> I mean, if we're already talking about the topic, we might as well. We all did, actually. It just took me many years before he eventually brought me out to Texas. So. Yeah, it was a, not so much a casting couch as a casting love seat, but we were all thinner then, so it was easier to fit on that casting couch. So this may be a thing where he's just making a casual joke with Chris Sabat, but think about it, guys. He named Chris Sabat as someone he had to sleep with as a joke to, you know, get his role. And he even said, we all did. I don't know. I feel like that is way too coincidental with everything that's going on right now. He could have named anyone. He could have said, oh, I had to sleep with Sean Shim. I had to sleep with whoever. But he named Chris Sabat specifically. It may be because Chris Sabat is in a position of power. So that was a part of the joke. But again, guys, Chuck Huber said something very, very specific in his affidavit. He made the suggestion that Chris Sabat is involved in a scandal where people in power at Funimation are forcing female voice actresses to sleep with them to keep their roles, otherwise they'll be recast. That is way too specific of a thing. And the voice actor of Krillin, someone who has worked at Funimation for many, many years, just so happens to make a joke in that exact same nature? That seems way too coincidental for me. I feel like that was just like, you know, a casual joke, but it was one of those jokes where it had a little bit of truth in it. Not that Sony Straight had to sleep with Chris Sabat, but you know, he was just making the suggestion that maybe things like that happen over there. That live audience that was there at that panel, they're going to just think it was a joke, right? But we look at it from a different lens because we're in 2019 and with all this court case stuff and these affidavits coming out, where Chuck Huber has stated pretty much exactly the same thing that Sony Strait did in the same nature with Chris Sabat. It is way too coincidental for me. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comments. Please leave these two alone. Do not tweet them at all. I always tell you guys to never tweet these people because it just doesn't solve anything. They don't answer your questions properly. It doesn't achieve anything. Let's just discuss this amongst ourselves. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See ya.